Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show a very beautiful chess game. This is the game between Janowski and Alapin that was played in the Barman in 1905. And where is Barman? Barman is the city in Germany. In this game, Janowski had white pieces and he started with d4. Barman played d5. c4, Queen's Gambit declined knight to c3 and black played bishop to e7 if knight to f6 is played then white would play bishop to g5 so black played bishop to e7 knight to f3 knight to f6 and white played bishop to g5 anyway h6 attacking the bishop bishop to h4, pawn takes pawn on c4, e3, a6 planning b5 to defend the pawn and to make the room for bishop to come to b7, bishop takes on c4, b5 and white has a choice, bishop to d3 or bishop to b3, bishop to d3 is even more popular move. Janowski played bishop to b3, knight from b to d7, queen to e2, castling is also good. It is black to move. Castling is move that comes to mind. Also logical is bishop to b7. c5 would be also a good move challenging white center but black played c6 this is not really a blunder but it was a wasted move how bad this move is well let's have a look white castled kingside and black castled kingside too rook from a to c1 Placing rook on semi open file, bishop to b7, rook from f to d1. Janowski is placing his pieces on ideal squares. Rook to c8, time to attack, knight to e5, and black captured the knight. Black was actually planning to play c5. But then after pawn takes pawn, black didn't like the idea that white rook is lined up with black queen. So we have knight takes knight on e5, pawn takes knight, rook is attacking the queen. It is black to move. Black has a choice, knight to d7 or knight to d5. Knight to d5 is move played in the game. Looks like that knight to d7 is a better move. And after bishop takes on e7, queen takes bishop. In the game we have knight to d5, bishop takes on e7, and now if queen takes bishop, then knight to e4 and knight is coming to d6 with huge advantage to white. So black captured knight on c3, rook takes knight and now queen takes on e7. Rook from c to d3, the threat is rook to d7, forking the queen and the bishop rook from f to d8, rook to d6, excellent move, rook takes rook, and now pawn takes rook, white has a passed pawn, queen to d7, e4, planning e5, black played c5, of course black considered f6, but 
dinner played. Why? If f6 is played, then queen to g4, queen and bishop are attacking the pawn on e6. If king to f7, then e5. And what now? If pawn takes pawn, then check. Pawn is pinned. And after king goes to g8, or perhaps e8, bishop takes on e6. Okay, what else? f5 is losing to queen takes pawn on f5. Pawn is pinned. Okay, so in the game, instead of f6, we have c5, e5. Dangerous pass pawn is now protected. c4, attacking the bishop. Bishop to c2. Queen to c6, hoping to be lucky. Threat is queen takes pawn on g2. Check mate. f3, problem solved. Check. And white has a choice. King to h1 or queen to f2. What would you do? Both moves are good. Let's check queen to f2. Then queen takes queen, king takes queen, and after f6, f4. Protected pass pawn gives white a winning advantage. In the game we have king to h1, rook to d8, queen to e1, perhaps planning queen to h4 attacking the rook. Rook to d7, h3, just in case, making a room for white king in order to avoid any back rank problems. Bishop to c6, f4, rook to a7, making the room for bishop to come to d7. f5, bishop to d7, and now f6. And black has to make a choice. g6 or pawn takes pawn. In the game black played g6. If pawn takes pawn on f6, then queen to g3 check, and after king to h8, queen to f4, and this doesn't look good for black, does it? So we have g6, queen to g3, defending the pawn on the e5, and something else. Well, let's play a, a random move. a5. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Have a good look. If you wish, you can pause the video and you can try to find the best move for white. Ready? Bishop takes on g6 is winning. After pawn takes bishop, queen takes on g6 check. King to f8, check, and checkus matus. Okay. King to h7 was played. h4, threatening h5, pawn is pinned. Queen to c8, queen goes to g file or somewhere on the king side to help black king. h5, queen to g8, rook to d4, rook is heading to h4 to add pressure on h6 pawn, bishop to e8. Have a good look at this position now. See how black is suffering from a lack of space. Rook to h4 was played. 
pressure is on the pawn on h6. Queen is coming to e3, attacking the rook and pawn on h6. So queen to f8 was played, defending h6. Rook to g4 was played. Queen to e3 is on the menu too. Rook to g4. Queen to g8. Queen to e3, attacking rook on a7. Rook to d7. Rook to h4. Threat is pawn takes pawn. Queen takes pawn on h6, checkmate. Queen to f8. g4, threat is g5. For example, if a5 is played, then g5. And what now? Black is in trouble. For example, just a random move again. c3. h takes on g6, check. And after pawn takes pawn, Rook takes on h6, check. King to g8. Queen to h3 is winning. So in the game, after g4, black played king to h8. Pawn takes pawn. Pawn takes pawn. Rook takes on h6, check. Rook to h7. Rook takes rook. It is white to move. Queen to h3 is winning. So is queen to g5. That was the move played in the game. Threatening check. Capturing the pawn. Queen to f7. Check. King to g8. It is white to move. Queen to h6. Looks like a good move. But Janowski opted for a more spectacular finish. What is the spectacular finish? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? This is what Janowski played. Bishop takes on g6, sacrificing a piece. Queen takes on g6. Queen takes queen. Bishop takes queen. Can you see next move? d7. Black resigned. Resigning was the only way to stop the pawn from promoting to queen. What a game. The way Janowski played reminded me very much of Capablanca's style. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.